what's up guys it's M and welcome to the channel here we talk everything art and design related so if that sounds like something you're into don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button I upload every two weeks and today's video is something that's really fun to do and we're going to be looking at how to lip sync a character in Adobe Animate. So with that not being the longest intro in human history, let's get into the video. Before we get into Adobe Animate, there's actually a few things you need to pre-set up so that you are able to do the lip syncing thing. And the main one being, you need something to animate. I went with a friend of mine's emote face, which I think is adorable. And the next thing you will need is the different lip shapes or mouth shapes for the different sounds that we create. So just to give you an indication of how these lip shapes look and everything you need, you need 12 of them. And I started with A, D, E, F, L, there's an M, there's a neutral position. I sometimes make the M and the neutral one look very much the same because it's a closed mouth. You've got O, R, S, U, and W, which is more like a woe sound. Getting references to these type of mouth shapes is really easy. You can just go and Google mouth shapes for lip sync and get a bunch of reference images. I suggest you don't copy them, but take inspiration from them. And then the other thing you could also do is just look at yourself in the mirror, see how your mouth moves and then copy the shape from there. But these are really helpful if you have trouble visualizing from yourself onto your sketch. So once you've got all your elements set and ready, then we can move over to Adobe Animate. So this is your Adobe setup. When you start, when you go into the program, we are just going to create a new setup and go for a 1080p size. This is the size of most of your YouTube videos, your screen overlays, your wallpapers. So I like working in that to know that the quality will be the best that I can possibly produce. If you've never worked in Adobe Animate, which I'm sure some of you haven't, then you have this very zoomed in canvas that's really difficult to navigate. So all you have to do is use the shortcut control and then your mouse scroll wheel. Then you can just scroll out and it will be easier to see the canvas. Your timeline sits at the bottom and it's got a lot of these little blocks and you can make them bigger or smaller depending on how many frames you're working with. And then on the right hand side you've actually got your library and this is where we're going to import our mouth. The first thing I like to do is go to properties and then change the stage color. So by using a dragging motion from my folder I'll drag all the elements that I've got into the library box. You can say, see it says library at the top and then I'll have 13 elements. 13 being my face with no mouth and then the 12 mouth shapes that I need. Now you can see that all of these are images and this is where I got lost with any other tutorial on how to do lip syncing because you need to make a symbol but in order for that symbol to work you need to make everything that you've imported except your face needs to also be, in, be a symbol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new symbol or you can use the shortcut control F8. And then I'm going to name it exactly the same as the mouse shape that I am going to be importing in that layer. So this will be W and you'll see that the program is very nice because it keeps it together. This is all alphabeticalized, alphabet, alpha, in order from A to Z. And then we can actually go, instead of having your mouse on this one, rather click this one. And the only reason I do that is when I now drag the image file onto the symbol it's going to give me a little circle like this and I like to line that up with a cross in the middle of the page so that when I've got all the mouse lined up I know that they are on the right place so once I've done that I can literally go and say insert new symbol and then I can just continue doing that for all the mouth shapes that I've got Once you've imported every single image into a symbol file that's the same name, we are going to make a new symbol and this symbol will be called anything like mouth, mouth shapes, 
I'm just gonna call it mouth so that we know this is the main one and then it's gonna open up a blank canvas to you the most important thing here is you need to remember from here on out we're gonna be working with frames so the frames are here located at the bottom and how you make a new frame is by just choosing that little block over there so those will make you new frames so we've got 12 mouths so I'm just gonna make 12 frames and go back to the first one and I'm gonna start importing the mouths from the bottom but not the image the symbol actually so I'm gonna drag it onto my little cross make sure that the circle lines up with the cross and then I'm gonna go to the next frame and import the next symbol if you made the frames beforehand it's very nice because then you don't have to delete the mouse from the previous frame if you're making the frames from let's say you've now imported this mouth and now you make your fourth frame you're gonna need to make sure that you delete the previous mouth on that frame before you continue otherwise you're gonna have overlapping mouths when you do the lip syn syncing and it's gonna look all strange and funny so just make sure when you click on a mouth or a frame that there's only one single mouth that you can see in that frame otherwise it's gonna look very suspicious don't be suspicious don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay, now I've imported my last mouth shape. So I've done the most difficult part, which is having all these frames for the different things. So now I'm gonna go here, press the arrow back, and it will give me back to my original canvas. And then you'll see that this kind of happened don't worry about that at all I'm gonna make a new layer so now I'm gonna import the most important part which is the audio file because without the audio file we actually aren't able to do the lip syncing and I asked a friend if I could use some of his audio so that it could match his little cute animated face when you import the audio file it needs to be a dot wav wav whatever and not an mp3 or mp4 when you import the audio file so the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to the beginning and on this layer, I'm gonna put the audio file onto this layer. Now, if this happened to you, this is absolutely fixable by just dragging to see where your audio stops. And that's all I'm gonna do. This isn't necessarily gonna happen with you when you're busy with it, but it's a good thing that it happened so that I can actually show you the way to solve it. So I'm just gonna drag it until I don't see any orange lines anymore. The orange lines means there's still active audio. And you can see we're only at seven seconds now for audio. So it's actually quite short. And there I have it. So that is my audio file. I'm also going to be deleting this one because that's not the important one at the moment. Then I'm going to make myself a new layer. And by clicking on the first frame, because if your mouse is active on any other frame, it's going to import it into that frame and not have it from the beginning through to the end whereas if i import this now here it will actually show completely through to the end so now i'm gonna put in the cute little itty bitty face and there he is so you can move this around as you would like it any way you want we're just gonna center him out and then the last thing i'm gonna do is import my mouth so you know the one that had all the symbols imported into so i'm kind of gonna put my mouth down and i'm just gonna line him up with my little character okay now you're not done at this moment there's no lip syncing going on you need to be on the layer of the mouth and you need to have the mouth activated so that means it needs to have the little border around the mouth so that when we go to properties object there's a lip syncing option at the bottom and then you're going to find all 12 of these blocks. These blocks are for you to match the mouth shapes. Now this might seem difficult in the beginning because you can't see much in that little small space. But if you've got it in the order that I had it in the library, it's actually very simple to figure out which is which. And you can also make yourself a little list. I used to take a picture of the library to see what the order was in so that I could easily just put it in. I had to pop in here and say that's what he said. <laughs> okay, continue. So I'm going to quickly match up these mouths and then we'll get in on the next step. Okay, so I have my mouths matched up at the moment. All 12 of them are ready. 
and then I just need to make sure that the sync with audio in layer is the same layer as the one that's got the orange line in. So if that's fine, I can say done and it's going to do its little doobity doop and then there we have it. Thank you motorcycle um, and there we have it we have a little guy smiling so if we play this now everything is synced up and you guys basically know how I do my little character at the bottom yeah me so I hope you guys have fun with this and you'll see that it's you can basically manually do this as well maybe drag some of them if you feel like it's going for too long on a certain shape you can always just take that away and this is how I do my lip syncing so before we end the video I think we can look at it one more time and see how the lip sync actually adds up yeah and, and not all sets are like this either like there are some sets where it's like creature go boom and bunk your opponent like that's all it says and you're like okay I know what to do here now. I hope that video was helpful to you guys and that you will be able to animate your own little character now. This is all just to do with mouth syncing, but if you are interested in any other type of animations in Adobe Animate, please let me know down in the comment section below. This is by no means the only way to do it. This is just the way I find it easier so that I have my mind together when I do everything to make sure it comes out looking like an animated mouth but you can use any method that's out there i'm sure there are people who do this a lot quicker and a lot better than i do but i find this to be the easiest way for me so remember if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and also if you like the content on my channel so far please give me that subscribe to support this channel's growth and all the fun things we're gonna get in in the future i hope you guys have a creative two weeks and i'll see you soon Bye.